Today we're at Flamingo Land Resort Yorkshire. Welcome to the United Kingdom Attraction Channel. Yes, hello and welcome to the United Kingdom Attraction Channel. It is the 26th of June 2021 uh, and we are at Flamingo Land. Joining me today is Gemma Buckham. Hello! Are you excited? I am! Because big rides are open this time. And uh, we're going to do something slightly different. What are you going to do today? I'm going to say, and I am joining Michael Stanix! <laughs> <laughs> I have been uh, told by our admin team of professional admin team um, that uh, Jason Lawrence uh, so a shout out to Jason Lawrence I don't introduce myself enough uh, so hopefully I'm gonna introduce myself a little bit more on the channel uh, so Jason Lawrence thank you for watching uh, and I hope you enjoy this vlog too uh, and all the ones to come are at Fantasy Island tomorrow uh, and just while I'm on it please subscribe uh, Jason, if you haven't subscribed, get a subscription. Or anyone watching, please subscribe. It does really help the channel. And we're hoping to get 1,000 subscribers uh, this year. So that'll be really, really good. Uh, so yeah, we are at Flamingo Land. Uh, the last time we come here uh, earlier on in the year, the rides weren't open. However, they're open today. So hopefully we'll get on all of the uh, major attractions Flamingo Land has to offer today. Uh, the new roller coaster, which is still unnamed, isn't open today. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be opening this year, but hopefully we'll get some footage of that. It is just in the background, so you can just see it there. Uh, so we'll try and get some footage of the new roller coaster. However, it was complete when I was last here uh, and we did get some footage of it there. So it's just a shame it's not open and I don't know what the hold up is. I don't know if they're maybe just waiting until the, the virus uh, yeah, sort of settles. So, because uh, it is a big outlay for the park. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to head towards the entrance of the park uh, and hopefully get some footage of that coaster for you. So we'll see you over at the park. <laughs> So that is us inside the park now. Um, coming into the park, I did have a little bit of a problem because my phone got disabled for five minutes. Uh, so maybe have your uh, phone or send some tickets to your friend. Mm -hmm. So because uh, it is just the QR code slash barcode mm -hmm. that you need. So you can even screenshot it uh, or print one off, and then you've got a paper copy. Uh, but if you want to save the world, uh, just use it on your phone. And si speaking of saving the world, I don't know if you mentioned, uh, heard there the pirates speaking. Uh, he did mention that they're not giving out park maps today. Uh, however, you can get a park map on the website. Uh, so if you do get lost and you want a park map, you can get that on the Flamingo Land website. 
Uh, you said that the park area has changed in the entrance. It, uh, it's been a long time since I've been to the this entrance. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, oh yeah. And it's it's I'm really impressed. It was. Uh, no, it has. I think it might have been a couple of years ago now that did yeah. redo it. It used to be a lot of uh, smaller rides and I'm attractions. Sure there was a fountain in the, in the when I. Yeah, there possibly yeah. might have been. I and can't really remember. Oh, yeah. I just round remember about. all the little yeah like roundabouts and sort of kids rides. They're now towards uh, to the middle area of the park. They still have kept them, uh, but no, the the park is. I'm just going to give you a, a view there. It is sort of the pirate area now, and they do have a stage, and they do put on shows throughout the day uh, for, uh, I'd say, the younger, the younger family. And yes, two bars. She's, right already, at the she's already mentioned the bar. She's seen them. <laughs> two new bars. Two new bars. Well, I don't, I don't know, know what they're, they're new. But... <laughs> uh, I'm sure. That I, I was going to say you will find out. Uh, and behind us is the new roller coaster. Uh, it's looking very snazzy. Uh, it is the B version of Colossus at Thor Park, uh, so it's like the newer version of that. Uh, it's still got 10 inversions, so it's going to be definitely a one Samantha won't like. Will you like it? Oh, I think you'll like it. Uh, but no, hopefully she won't lose. She nearly lost her uh, necklace on Colossus. Uh, so try to get her on this. I'll say it's nothing like Colossus. It's fine. It's only one inversion, not 10. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know actually when it's going to open. Uh, hopefully we will get that date soon uh, and we'll be able to get down here and uh, have our first ride on it and get a name, even a name, because we have no name for this amazing coaster. But I'm going to get you some footage of it uh, and then we're going to head towards our first ride, which I think is going to be either Velocity or Hero. Uh, and then what I do want to touch on is Kamali is closed. Uh, so that is the, I would say, the tallest roller coaster here at the park. Um, so it's a shame that that is closed. Uh, the I haven't been able to find a reason no, yet. No, I haven't really got a reason for it. Uh, and if, our, if there is any other rides which are closed today, we will let you know uh, as we go through the park. But hopefully that is the only major ride which is closed, because uh, it is a shame. Because uh, I definitely wanted to get my uh, first ride of the year on Kamali. Um, so that is a shame. Uh, but anything yeah, else? No, no that's I'm fine. There, yeah, right, I'm so we're going to head towards our first ride, uh, which is either going to be Hero or Velocity. So we'll see you over there. our first ride of the day which is Hero. What did you think of that it one Gemma? It was enjoyable, very long queue. It um, was, yeah. it's got a, a low throughput. Um, it is really really bumpy, uh, definitely a completely different style to a traditional uh, roller coaster. You are lying down. Uh, I would say it's probably the, like the roughest sort of coaster mm. I could possibly have been on. Uh, it's literally, I would say it's rougher than the Grand National of Blackpool, and that's saying something. I don't put hand sanitizer directly on, on before the ride. Because Gemma was grip. slipping all over and you couldn't grip. You said you hurt your, your leg uh, as well. <laughs> We're selling this ride. But it uh, was fun. It is fun, yeah. it is a really, really good experience, especially if you haven't been on before. Uh, it definitely just gives a, a little bit uh, fun to the roller coaster, yeah. isn't it? Something different. Uh, so now we're going to head towards Velocity, uh, which is their launch coaster. A launch. 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 I say it wrong, launch. Uh, Forget his name. <laughs> so it's definitely... Did he just do that behind me, yeah. didn't he? Oh, that charming man there. <laughs> Theme, theme Park United Kingdom Attraction Channel, give us a subscribe if you do see us. Uh, but no, we're going to head towards Velocity, uh, 
hopefully get not as long a wait. Yeah. I don't think it will be. It's got a bigger throughput, so hopefully it won't be as bad. We're uh, gonna have a quick look in the And we're gonna the hub, wasn't it? Yeah. We're gonna have a quick look in the hub because Gemma hadn't seen that before. Uh, it's mainly smaller rides and attractions for the uh, younger kids. Uh, and it's good that it's indoors, uh, so hopefully if it is raining, you can still have a few rides and attractions for the younger kids uh, inside. So we'll uh, show you that on the way to Velocity. So we'll see you over there. Just come off velocity. What did you think of that one, Gemma? <laughs> it was really good. It was intense. It was intense. Yeah. It was actually more intense than I thought it was going to be. It's been a while since I've been on it, uh, and it does give you that uh, rush oh, yeah, straight away. Yeah, uh, I think it's not. It says it's not to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Uh, however, when I did look, it actually just goes to 54 miles an hour. Was it 54? Yeah, so it's not quite not a 60, uh, but it, it does give you that uh, a great acceleration. Oh it has changed colour. Uh, it used to be, I think it was blue and red. It's now red and silver, or red and blue it was. It's now red and silver. Uh, so it does look, it's got a new sleek uh, design, it's got a colour scheme, which does look, it does really go well with the new coaster behind. And we're actually standing, uh, I don't know if you can see, I'll try and stand out the shot a little bit better. That is the building of the new uh, coaster, unnamed. Uh, that is the, the ride building, should I say, or the ride station. So hopefully, just I would say coming down this sort of area, so that is the, you can see there, Velocity Station. Uh, Hero just over there, and we're just towards, I would say, the car park area of Flamingo Land. So hopefully, this year maybe, or next, we'll be able to come down this uh, area and board the train to the new coaster. Uh, so we're gonna head, we're gonna do one more coaster run with, and then get some food. Uh, so I think oh, we're gonna, gonna try and catch the animal, uh, the tiger feed. Oh yeah, we're gonna try, because we didn't catch it last time, so hopefully we can uh, catch the tiger enclosure feed, because uh, they did say it was worth watching, so hopefully we'll uh, get some great footage of the tigers. Uh, so we'll do one ride, which I think we're gonna do mumbo jumbo, get that out of yeah. the way, so before food. Uh, and then it's out the way and we don't need to worry about the food coming back up. <laughs> there is a lot of the food establishments closed. The, the two bars that were mentioned at the beginning, they're closed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's mainly just burger places. It was quite disappointing actually. I don't know why they're closed. I don't know if it's because we're not in peak season uh, and they've just shut them. Uh, but. It, it does seem to be a running theme at Flamingoland every time we come. There's, it, I've never been to Flamingoland and everything's been open. No, no. Uh, it, but we'll have that, like, we're going to eat at the coach house, but you've got a ring and on yes. and book uh -huh. table. So, so hopefully we'll do a, a little food review and uh, pricing on that. If you want uh, a pint, we have food. If you want a pint. Coach house. <laughs> book. Yes, book the coach house. Uh, but hopefully other restaurants will be open when you come, uh, especially if it's in a peak time, uh, they will. We did mention that there is a ride closure, as I mentioned Kamali, there is actually a long list. We will uh, mention the list. I'll get Gemma to get the list up uh, and tell you what rides are close today. Uh, but it is actually quite substantial on the list. Uh, yeah, so it, that is a shame as well, especially if you're paying the full price for the ticket. You want as many rides open as possible. Uh, so hopefully 
they'll address that in the future. Uh, but we'll make our way over now to Mumbo Jumbo uh, and get on our third roller coaster of the day. So we'll see you over there. So we've just come off Mumbo Jumbo, uh, which was the roller coaster Gemma was a bit fiad off. Yeah, a little bit, but it was okay. It was sore on the so I really like Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo. A Mumbo. It's fast. <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. It, it is fast. It was the steepest in the world when opened, uh, which I think was 2016, but I'll have to double check that. It was on the sign, which you'll see on the, uh, the vlog. So I think that's all the major roller coasters now. Yeah. Would you have Cliffhanger and what's the other one? Ter Flight of the Pterodactyl. Yeah, that's the one I'm not. Which Gemma's not going on, but I'll get on that as well later on. Um, so hopefully we're going to head towards food now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we, we did book uh, one. It was at 1 p.m. slot? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock slot. It's now nearly 10 past 2 and we've been on three rides. <laughs> yeah, the throughput is not very good here at Flamingo Land today. Uh, it's been an, over an hour wait for just that one ride, Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, no, it was nearly two. Nearly two hours. Yeah. So nearly two hour wait for Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, so we'll have sort of missed our slot in the co is it the coach house? Yeah, and if we have, <laughs> oh my god, gonna be in trouble. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure we'll uh, just sweet talk them. I think it's this way. I don't really know. I think it's this way. Um, no, I'm sure we'll sweet talk them and it'll be fine. And we'll be able to have a food review uh, over at the coach house. Uh, so we'll see you over there. So we've made our way into the coach house now uh, and we've actually got our food. Uh, so Gemma has, what do you have Gemma? It's a uh, beef ciabatta. Beef ciabatta and chips with salad. And what's the sauce? It's a mustard. A mustard. And how much did that cost you? The, this was six fifty. Six pounds fifty. So I've got two pounds. Oh, for £14 something like that. And the, and the non-alcoholic of Gemma got two drinks. <laughs> And I got just plain Jane over here, burger and chips, uh, and I got a, a, a Coke, which hasn't arrived yet, but it all came to fifth, uh, sorry, £13, uh, so that isn't too badly priced here at the Coach House uh, in Flamingo Land. So definitely, it's, we've been here before and the food is really, really good. Uh, I do recommend the Coach House. I did mention there wasn't many choices today of places to eat. It would have been good to choose a new place, uh, but we knew the coach house was good, so we thought we'd come back. So I'm going to enjoy my food now, uh, and then hopefully we'll get over towards Cliffhanger uh, for probably our last thrill ride of the day, uh, and then do some of the smaller ri rides around the park. So that is us out uh, of the coach house now, so we're going to have a, a very slow walk, aren't we Gemma? Yes, to let the food digest. <laughs> Down to the Cliffhanger. Uh, to get uh, our last ride of our, or should I say, our last thrill ride. Hopefully we'll get on a few more uh, smaller rides. Um, is there any, we could go to the zoo way and maybe get a little bit of footage yeah, of the animals. The we did notice that the, was it the cheetah or the leopard? I don't know if it's a cheetah yeah. or a leopard. Cheetah. The cheetah was out, which we didn't catch last time, so hopefully it's still out. And we'll be able to get some footage of the cheetah. Um, it is a really, really busy day now, hasn't it? I'll just get some footage of this area. This is like the Peter Rabbit area in uh, Flamingo Land, which is more catered towards the younger ones. This is the area that we were at last time. Uh, it was the it was the area open uh, where the rest of the theme park was not. And obviously the zoo, this is heading towards the zoo now. See the zoo shop there. And I can actually hear there must be a bird show going on, which is the big stadium behind the shop. I can just hear it, so we've probably missed that, which is a shame. 
Uh, but if there is another time slot, we'll try and get that as well. There isn't. Three o'clock was the last one, which is a shame, but it is worth mentioning that Flamingo Land does do a bird show and a sea lion show. So if you are coming to Flamingo Land and you want a break from the rides, you can definitely come down and uh, experience them. There's also the feedings. Yeah, and they do uh, animal encounters. Yes, they do. However, that's an extra charge. I think it's, it's around 20, 25 pounds. Yeah. So for 25 pounds and you pre-book, uh, and you can have an animal encounter. What different animals do that they was allow that? Meerkats, penguins. Well, the meerkats would be good. Yeah, it would. Uh, so that if you, if you are a big animal fan, I would definitely recommend uh, pre-booking that. However, it is an extra charge on top of the tickets, uh, and that is a 25 pound charge. So we're gonna make our way down, slow walk uh, down to Cliffhanger, and then hopefully get some off-ride footage as well for you. Uh, so we'll see you over there. I'm not gonna tell you his name because I'm hoping, like. Oh, I'm just nervous certain that he's going to tell you what I'll buy yourself, well, that's the fun anyway. First of all, can we have a nice big hello? Hello. And can you tell everyone what is your name? Charlie. Charlie. We've got a very good to Charlie here this year. He likes to lick the hand sign as well, we need to stop doing that though. Good boy. Now, um, can you tell everybody what's your nickname? Charlie. No, your nickname. Nickname. Charlie. Your nickname! <laughs> Pretty boy, well done, can we give him a clap for that, everyone? Yeah, you probably know I'm quite a persistent trainer. I'll make sure that they are doing it properly in the show, even if it wasn't. He's having to be afraid of <laughs> And so, if you do have a car at home, never ever feed them a treat like chocolate. Very important to listen to that and ignore the fact that he's just told you it's his favourite treat. He's never tasted it before. So what the treat you're allowed, and it is just in moderation, and these nuts here, you'll have to listen closely to this one because he says it too quickly, because he likes them too much. Charlie, what's that? <coughs> it is a peanut. <coughs> That's a very good that one. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> well done. You can also string a sentence together. Rather impressive this one. Are you ready? Can you say, do you want a biscuit? <coughs> That's one of them, do you want a biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was fantastic! That was very, very good. Well done. <laughs> that, stick in that right. We've got another impression, it's new. Can we have an impression of a duck? <laughs> duck. Well done. And this time, a terrifying monster. <laughs> monster. So we just caught the end of the bird show. Uh, it is worth mentioning I didn't really get great footage, but hopefully the audio would have picked up uh, some of the sounds that the parrots are making. They were really, really good. Uh, so definitely I would get here on time, because that, that seemed like a good show yeah, to, get, to get. I have done the sea lion show here before, and if you want to see uh, footage of that, you can check out my vlog previously on Flamingo Land, uh, and that's got all of the animals except the bird show. <laughs> and the tiger feeding, wasn't it? Yeah, we missed that we'll as well. That as but uh, other than that, if you want to check that one out, and that has all of the animals here at Flamingo Land. Uh, so I think we're eventually going to make our way down uh, to Cliffhanger. She's she's holding off, <gasps> she's trying to hold off as much as she can. I don't mind the drop tower. It's just a, your pads yeah, I know. We, we do want to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could probably go on uh, Pterodactyl. Uh, no, I don't think I will be yet. Uh, we'll go down to uh, Cliffhanger. So we'll see you down there, and I promise we'll be there in three, two, one. And just like that, we are at Cliffhanger. Um, the queue doesn't seem too bad, uh, famous words. Uh, so hopefully we'll get on pretty quickly. What I do want to say is, the ride itself, what would you call it? Not the ride system, the ride uh, or, operations. Operation? It's totally different. So it, what it used to do is it used to fire you up and then it would, you would come down halfway and then you would go up slowly again, right to the top, and then you would wait for about 10, 
seconds and it would drop you when you least expect it. What it's doing now is it is just firing you up and you come back down and you go up a little bit and then come back down and then that is it. That's the end of the ride. So it, it, it's very similar now to Ice Blast at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, I don't know if they're just doing that because there's a lot of people well, I say there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people for just a small amount of rides here today because there's a lot of rides closed. So this uh, allows everyone to go through the ride uh, operations quicker. Uh, so maybe that's the reason, or maybe it's just completely changed and they're no longer going to do that drop tower element of uh, cliffhanger. That was but, the best. But that was the whole, I think the name comes, yeah, uh, cliffhanger, you're hanging on the edge of the cliff and then you drop. Uh, so, I mean, not that we're complaining because we actually didn't like that bit. Oh, <laughs> oh, did you like that I bit? Like that. No, that, that scared me quite a bit. But, I mean, it was part of the thrill, so I suppose you, you do want it. Uh, so, it's just worth mentioning. I am going to get some uh, off ride footage for you so, to explain uh, exactly what we mean, and you'll hopefully see that there. Uh, but we're going to go on uh, Cliffhanger now and uh, we'll get our review after that. So, we'll see you off the ride. <laughs> So we've just come off Cliffhanger, what did you think of that one? I enjoyed it, it was tame in the way really of It is uh, tame. I uh, thought that was one of the taller ones, but it's... Well, it's, I suppose it is still one of the taller ones, it is 180 feet tall. Uh, so just in comparison to that, uh, the Ice Blast at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is 200 feet tall. And I would say, even though it's the Ice Blast being 200 and this one being 180 feet, it doesn't mean they actually go that high, no. they don't go all the way to the top. Uh, that's just sort of a marketing technique of saying 100 feet tall yeah. or 200 feet tall. They probably go, yeah, yeah, three quarters of the way up. So, uh, I mean, it's still a, a decent height yeah. and you get a really good view for the seconds that you're up there. Uh, it's however, so much better if they did it like they used to where yeah. you were at the top and then plummeted down. Maybe we should have asked them. I didn't ask them, that was, that was our fault. But uh, yeah, it doesn't do that currently. Hopefully it will go back to the original uh, sort of ride layout of how it, how it was operating but until uh, it does it's still uh, just like the ice blast system of a one shoot up and then you get like a smaller shoot up uh, which is a little bounce that's right so we're going to go on formula one which i haven't been on before here at flamingo land it's very similar to grand prix uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Riveting. It looks riveting. Gemma's not a fan. But uh, hopefully uh, it will be good fun and I think it will be good fun for the family as well. So we'll try and get you some off-ride footage uh, of the Formula One. It was a new ride here uh, in 2019, I think. Uh, so it, it, it is really good and it incorporates the hub area, which is the building in the middle of Flamingo Land. Uh, so definitely it was a, a good upgrade to this area of the park. Flamingo Formula One. And we're going. And we're last. <laughs> Extremely fast. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping with sarcasm there. Yeah. 
It is actually it really is good fun. for younger kids. Yeah. I would recommend it. You it do is... have to steer and things. Yeah, so... I've just crashed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're catching, catching up, we're catching up. Oh, they're away again. Hold on. And it is actually quite a good track. I don't know why we keep stopping. I don't think it's... I don't think it's on tour and everything. What's this button down? We've got a horn! Bam! But uh, no, I definitely recommend it for, uh, I would say, 12 and under. Yeah. 12 and under. Yeah. Definitely a good a good addition to the park. And it's not good for our first ride. Yeah. Well, it was like, well, last ride. Well, last, possibly last ride of the day, but our first ride on Formula One. Flamingo's Formula One. Yay! <laughs> so we'll see you off the ride. Michael Stanix, Formula One racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in the dino area for the end of the day. It's about 10 to 5 now. We're hopefully going to get on our last ride of the day, which is... Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. You're going on it and I'm not. Are you not coming no, on? Not going on <laughs> well, Good hopefully job. you might be able to film us. But uh, I'll get some good off-ride footage of it. It is basically a swing ride, which you go up a tower. Uh, we're just wondering what the height of this is. I don't exactly know. It is roughly around the same height as Cliffhanger. Uh, however, it does look a little bit smaller, just slightly smaller. Uh, but this one you spin all the way around. Uh, but we'll get some good off-ride footage. Are you sure you're not going to come I'm on? very sure. Oh, thank oh you. she's very sure. But uh, you can see our friend in the background. He looks a bit hungry. Maybe you should go to, uh, uh, what's that place called we've just been there? The coach house. The coach, I think you need to go to the coach house. Yeah. Yeah, get yourself to the coach house. There's some good get bit. Paint on the <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you off the ride. Just come off pterodactyl. 
a pee. Rather you than me. <laughs> Rather you than me. <laughs> it was really good. You get a good uh, view of the park. It does make you really, really dizzy though. So if you don't like dizzy things, maybe give that one a miss. But uh, definitely worth it if uh, you want to get a good view of the park. And it was actually quite long. It seems to go on for quite a while. And you don't mind heights. And if you don't mind heights. I don't mind heights, so it was fine for me. Uh, there's a little uh, mini roller coaster here, which we'll show you as well. I don't know what it's called. Can't see through the trees there. Twist. Twistosaurus. Twistosaurus. Uh, and there's a few other little rides here. Definitely a good area for the younger uh, kids. Uh, so we'll get some good off-ride footage of these, and then we're going to head towards the uh, exit of the park for our closing down speech. So we'll see you over there. And it wouldn't be Flamingo Land without getting some Flamingo mer merchandise. We've actually got quite a lot. Piggy banks, ornaments, key rings. Gemma's getting a it's famous not a pen. It's pen for, which I'm it's very not. disappointed in. I think I prefer the blue one. Yeah, but there's pencil, sharpeners, rulers. I don't know what these are. Torches. All for Mingle Land merchandise. A little book with a pen. Loads of different types of animals here, including a massive lemur. Oh, the panda's got the flamingo land jumper on. So that is it at Flamingo Land. Just like that, it's the end of the day. Have you had a good it's day? It's been a brilliant day. It's been very quick. It, it's ha it, it has flown by and I feel like we've spent a lot of it in queues, especially yeah. Mumbo Jumbo. Yeah, and Hero. <laughs> and Hero. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of rides, if we touch on ride operations, there was a lot of rides that were uh, not operating today. Uh, gee, you've got a list there, Gemma, yeah, haven't you? Uh, so the Dakatari Deca Express, Dino Roller, HMS Bounty, the Kamali, Lost River, Navigator, and People Mover. Yes, so, so that, that is quite, quite a few. A few. Especially uh, Kamali I think, I think that's nearly double digits on uh, what, how many rides aren't open. Uh, and like I did say earlier in the day, I haven't been to Flamingo Land where all the rides have actually been operating. Um, it's there were a few rides that were only operating at specific times as yes, well. Yes, I, I don't know if it's a shortage of staff. 
uh, or if it's in their plan to not operate certain rides uh, or not oper operate all the rides on every day uh, but it is it could be quite annoying especially if the ride that you want isn't operating that day mm. specifically Kamali for me today yeah. I really wanted to come for oh, Kamali and it wasn't operating uh, so th that is a slight downside on a positive side all the rides that were operating seem to stay operating and were yeah. were going quite well mm -hmm. the operation side or the throughput side should I say wasn't great which is another problem Flamingo Land has is the throughput of their rides most of their rides has a really low throughput uh, and they weren't even operating all of their cars on the roller coasters today. Hero was only operating two, and Mumbo Jumbo was two, and they can all operate three. Uh, so that is not the best either. Uh, it could be helped. You could get them extra cars on, just makes it, the queue go a lot quicker. Um, no way you could do all of the whole park in one day. No. And well, the zoo. No. Well, yeah, no. It's just absolutely Definitely no. Not. I think people do come for a week or a weekend or a long weekend stay, uh, you'll manage to do the entire park, especially if you want to do the zoo as well, which I would recommend doing because oh, it's yeah, a really, brilliant. really good zoo. And I did mention earlier on, if you uh, want to see more of the zoo, our last vlog was completely about the zoo. So you uh, hopefully go to that one and you'll uh, see all the uh, lovely animals that they have uh, on display here at Flamingo Land. We did notice coming out the entrance and said if you came back the next day... Yeah, if you, if you do come back the next day, it's only £14.50. Uh, so that's re good. Re yeah, really reasonable. Uh, although you would have to come back the next day and if you were travelling from a long distance away and you weren't planning on staying, that's maybe not so good. Uh, but it, it, it is a good thing if you're uh, nearby in Flamingo Land and it's only, uh, I wouldn't say it's half price, but it's it, it, okay. a good price. Um, touching on the coronavirus implementations, well, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few signs saying to maintain social social, social distancing, distancing that but was. there was there was no mask enforcement at no no there enforcement was at in all. the indoors places yes the they did the they toilets. did say to put your face masks on and uh, although there wasn't exceptions but then I suppose they might have been an exception mm -hmm. uh, with the lanyards uh, but no yeah it does seem to be a lot more lax since I was last year but then I suppose a lot of the rules and regulations has lapsed itself however some of them still are in place so until that uh, sort of relaxes which I think is going to be the last week in July if we would keep our face masks on and try and keep that distance it just really helps but overall it's been a really really good day if you're nervous about corona though I wouldn't yeah maybe it's maybe just give it that extra month and hopefully it'll be fine but uh, I know it's been a really, really good day. The weather, it's sunny. Mm -hmm. We can't ask for anything more. It is a shame about the new roller coaster. We did ask one of the staff members and they didn't actually know themselves when it is do with the key, uh, when it's going to open. Yeah. What he said, um, I've got a tickly throat. I feel like I'm going to cough. <laughs> <coughs> Let's get it out the way. Uh, no, he did say that they had started construction uh, when it was the height of the pandemic. They had stopped construction and it was hard to get the construction men back uh, to construct the coaster. The coaster is actually up, so it would be a lot of the groundwork that needs done. Uh, so they're just waiting. They must be on another coaster somewhere else in the world, because this is a specialist team which design and build coasters. Uh, so they're somewhere else in the world. It could be in the UK, but I think it isn't. It's outside the UK, and they're just waiting for them to come back uh, to get back onto their coaster to get that one operating. So it could be next year by now, by the sound of the staff member. He didn't know, but he said it's looking like next year so that is something to bear in mind it doesn't look like it's going to be this year but if it is it'll be towards the back end and he didn't have a name he called it a glorified car park currently it used to be the staff yeah. car park apparently so he's gutted it's gone yeah. <laughs> but uh, no well thank you for watching uh, the United Kingdom attraction channel please subscribe uh, it means a massive deal to us we're trying to get that 1,000 subscriber mark please like please comment comment on anything that we've missed or anything that you want to see or any information you want to know uh, and we'll try and get that to you uh, and I think we're at Fantasy Island tomorrow which is in Skegness Skeggy so uh, we've never been there on the channel before so we are looking forward to that and that should be really really good uh, so uh, all that's left to say is thank you for watching the United Kingdom attraction channel stay safe guys bye, bye.